For the second time in as many years, LeBron James is doing some future planning after losing in the finals. But he's not the only one. Something Miami Heat star Dwayne Wade said before Game 6 last night has some questioning if he'll be back in a Heat uniform next year. CBS 4 Steve Goldstein is here now with more on what's being bound to be an interesting couple of weeks. Goldie. You know, it is amazing, Erica. The Golden State Warriors, they're the champions, but everybody's talking about LeBron James today. And here in South Florida, Dwayne Wade's comment on television. The season is over and the rhetoric is just starting. While the Golden State Warriors celebrated, LeBron James could just hang his head. He became the first player in basketball history to lead the finals in all three major statistical categories, points, rebounds, and assists. But he lost. After the Warriors clinched the title by winning game six in Cleveland, James was dejected. I've been on the short end of, of, of this four times and uh, I've been able to win it twice. It's really no, uh, it's no great feeling when you lose. Now, Steph Curry was the league MVP in the regular season. But surprise, Andre Iguodala won the finals MVP award. He hadn't started a game for Golden State all season long. This is my purpose, and I accepted it, and I got great teammates. Steph, I want to be just like Steph when I grow up. No, I'm, just, I'm just so happy, man. God is great to, for us to be able to have this, this opportunity. Um, and... Uh, I'm trying 1,800 more ways to explain this because this is, this is amazing. As for LeBron James, he was missing the second of best players on his team, Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving, both injured. The losses in these finals, all of them hurt. And maybe it was just the heat of the moment, but James was speaking some surprising words emotionally down after this loss. You lose in the finals, they are disappointing. Don't matter if I'm playing in Miami or playing in Cleveland or playing on Mars. And I always look at it, would I rather not make the playoffs or lose in the finals? I don't know. Now, before the game, Dwayne Wade created a buzz. He was guest hosting on the game telecast. Take a listen yourself as he refers to playing for the Heat in the past tense. Different way. When I was in Miami, we had this thing. Wade can opt out of his contract, which has one year left. He and the Heat are reportedly apart on a longer-term deal. One teammate, Hassan Whiteside, wants to keep Wade in Miami. Oh, yeah, of course I hope D-Wade stay. You know, I mean, he's a great teammate. I mean, um, he's a really good guy. So I would want him to stay, but, I mean, that's on him. All right, both Wade and James have the ability to opt out of those contracts by July 1st. Sound familiar? Same story last year. The next few weeks will fuel a lot of speculation.